Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, to all of my subscribers and to people who have regularly viewed my channel, you'll know that this year I was having uh, Invisaligns fitted. Now I had braces. Now forgive me straight off, which you can probably tell, is it's altering how I'm speaking a little bit, especially on sounds such as S or Z and like th, those type of sounds. So, and I'm still getting used to that. I've only had it fitted yesterday, so this is all new to me. Now, have I had braces before? Yes, I have. I had braces about 10 years ago now, so I'm 29, maybe even 11 years ago. So I started the process just between the ages of 18 and 19, and I had them on for about 18 months. So with my teeth, I had a very much of crowding, and I had an overbite, and um, I had an eye tooth here, which was really quite prominent, and they weren't majorly bad. Um, I always had very nice teeth as a child, always took quite, um, well, took a lot of pride in how uh, the whiteness of my teeth, always really liked that, even as a young child, I was very into sort of keeping them ultra white, brushing them, never had any problems with that at all. It was just as I got older, as a teenager, I had a lot of crowding. Um, Mum and Dad actually had to stop me from brushing them so much. And actually what I have done is I have given myself some gum recession where I have gone a little bit too abrasive. Um, I was going to say abrasive with the brushing, but quite aggressive um, in looking after my uh, gums. So I had braces done um, then, and I believe back then they were called the Damon style braces. They were very good. I did have the opportunity of having them whilst I was in um, education up until the age of 18, which here in this part of the world in the UK, um, on the NHS system, um, you can actually have uh, corrective brace work um, for your teeth as a child. Um, I didn't want it at school, I didn't like the style of them, I didn't like that sort of, um, it, it almost seemed to panic me too much about having it in my across my teeth. Um, and then strangely enough, I was on holiday for my 18th birthday, um, and I it was really becoming apparent to me that I wasn't necessarily so happy with happy is what I first thought. So when I came home off that holiday when I was 18, I started the process and um, I had them done privately, so I paid for them, um, which is quite a lot of money. Even 10 years ago, it was quite a lot of money. Um, so that was then. I had them on for about 18 months. Absolutely loved having them, not wearing them as such. Of course, that pain, having the wires changed each time, that was quite a lot and that was certainly a wake-up call. But the results I really, really loved. Um, I'll be very honest, I do have my teeth whitened. I have paid for them to be bleached quite a lot. Um, I love having really ultra-white teeth in pictures and standing out. I'm known for that in my family. I love that. Um, and then, of course, in recent years, uh, and by the way, with a retainer, I wore a retainer literally near enough every single night. Um, I've been incredibly good with that. It's just become routine. I've wore it. I've paid for several, about three new different retainers. And then up until, I'd say, about nine months, I really, really struggled to get the retainer to sit right at night. Um, and I've been going through, for about the last two years, I've been going through some tests um, following uh, quite a lot of surgeries on my groin. I've had my groin reconstructed. I've had three hernia repairs on that side. And the surgeon um, thought that I had Marfan syndrome or some sort of collagen um, uh, sort of defect um, of why I kept getting these type problems. Because on top of that, I'll be very honest, I have a lot of... Uh, I have some bladder issues uh, from the damage of one of the surgeries I had. I have a lot of nerve-related problems. Um, I was left for a year with the hernia mesh dislocating, so it gave me a lot of problems and it damaged um, some nerves, which they think may be giving me some issues with my bladder now. Um, but I've had quite unusually a lot of issues with somebody of my age. I've lost quite a lot of my hearing. Um, I actually haven't got my hearing aids in right now because I've got a horrible sort of skin-related issue um, in both of my ears at the moment, which is a bit difficult. And I've had just an unusual amount of issues um, for someone of my age. I've been going through this, um, and I'm also still having some investigations for some uh, seizures, which I've been having. I have vertigo really quite badly as well at times. Um, this doesn't define me. I really do keep pushing forward. I keep smiling. I keep trying to see the brightness in every day. I, I try to be happy. I try to be positive, and I try to help people as much as I can. Of course, sometimes it's difficult. Now, up until about six months ago, I wasn't really having a problem, but I was noticing that my teeth were looking a little bit different on this side particularly. 
It wasn't until I decided to wait in, it wasn't until one day where I could start to see on my retainer a real gap appearing, where things had almost changed. And I suppose I was kidding myself, thinking, oh, I'm just getting a little bit older, I'm in my later 20s now, things are changing. But actually, of course, it shouldn't change like that at all. So I started the process a couple of months ago. Um, and in between different appointments and different health issues going on as well, it's taken quite a long time to get through. I've had my scans and consultations and things about it. And they actually thought that they couldn't pinpoint it of why it was happening. But because there's this cloud over me at the moment of some sort of collagen um, sort of defect or issue with one thing or another, that when they actually looked at my scans of what had happened is part of my uh, the bone structural teeth, as to say, on this side has started to come fall inwards with the structure of the bone, then they're not 100% sure why, and my teeth have started to come in on themselves. Um, I've seen a specialist where they said that it could be from the pressure of my cheek, or just as in, as I'm getting a little bit older, or it could be down to this sort of potential issue which has been hanging over me, which would answer a lot of things. But however, there's no pinpointing way to be able to define that. So anyway, looking at the scans and how far my teeth had changed from when I had them off all those years ago and looking at previous pictures I could really see that something was changing really really quite quickly and it was getting worse even in the last couple of weeks it's got worse so I went ahead with the Invisalign's which I I've just had fitted yesterday um, I'm still acclimatizing to what this is feeling like and as you can tell with how I'm talking it's um it it's taking a lot of getting used to, especially all this. I'm, I work in a job which I have to talk quite a lot in meetings. I have to present a lot of things. I'm training two people at the moment, um, looking after two people in my team. I work in finance, so there's lots of talking all the time. So this hasn't been ideal. And I have had since yesterday, I will be very honest, it's affected my speech like this. Um, this has been incredibly painful. This has been really, really painful up here. And I take it at all, really, really painful. So, and I'll tell you what I have to keep doing as well. I'm just going to take it if you don't mind. And forgive me for this. I never ever do this. But I have such a dry mouth since putting it in. It actually is quite sore to keep moving my mouth over the um, Envision line until I get used to it. So, do excuse me. I'm probably going to have to do that quite a bit. But yeah, really quite dry, really quite sore. And I, I know they don't look bad now. But when you actually look here you would see that this is out here, changed, and these are just starting to fall back in on themselves. I'm getting a little bit of that here, but not so much. So it really is this side of my mouth. I um, mean, I've got some in the bottom. You may think that these are fillings at the back, but they're not. It's like a like a black label with numbers on. And if I hear this, hit a hack. You can see I've got that there as well. And, um, they're not the most comfortable, so I have to admit, first of all, but of course, this is my first my first set, one of 14, I believe. And this will be, I think, about 28 weeks, around six months, maybe up to nine months, I'm told. But this is um, this is the start of it. So I'm, I'm pleased I've taken the journey, first of all, to be able to do this. I'm interested, um, you know, the results when you go for your appointments and they actually show you. Um, one of the things which is really interesting they do, they lie you back and with your mouth kind of, wide open so they can see when a scanner they go over in each individual tooth and they show you what the end result is going to be before you even commit to it so i have now i will be straight off it is expensive it is expensive so i paid for my initial braces 10 years ago around about three and a half maybe closer to four thousand i made the decision of having them whitened after which was about 500 pounds at the time so i think that's going to be a lot more expensive now this Invisalign is total just under about, I think, 3,300 just for the top. Um, so just to be honest, because I don't want to put that out there that it is cheap because it's not. Um, it's not cheap at all to be able to do that. Um, <clears throat> but I'll be honest, I work hard. I'm in a role. I've recently got a promotion. So I thought to myself, do you know what? This is going on. It's really, really bothering me. I'm in a time in my life where I can do this. There will be time in my life where I can't, where I'm hoping to obviously in the future have a wife, have children, have a family, a busy family, then I wouldn't be able to pay all this money to sort my teeth out then. So I thought I'll get it done now, then the future can be bright and golden and I can get on with my life and don't have to worry about this anymore and that can all be corrected. After this is done, I'm going to have a retainer which is slightly sort of exaggerating the outward bend of my teeth so this won't happen again. Um, and I will probably have to wear a retainer every night goodness knows how long but um that's not a problem because i've been in a bit of a uh, routine for that anyway but 
ultimately, I just want to run through and show you what I've got here. So I have got, so this is what I walked away with yesterday from the uh, specialist centre where I'm under. I can tell it's really making my mouth a bit sore. So in here, what I got, so here's what I got. This is the, you could say, the Invisalign goodie bag. And in here, you actually walk away with all of your sets of Invisalign. So in here, I have got all of my sets um, in here. Um, I've got to be a bit careful because the actual specialist name is actually on here. But it comes in like these little plastic sort of sleeves. And each one, they're all linked. And each one is a set of my Invisaligns. So I've got... 14 in here, so I'm on one of 14, and this is the empty pack. Okay, um, so that's that in that box there. So that's my orthodontic, as I say, orthodontic appliance in here. Yeah, that's really cool how it's presented in there as well. So you get that smart box. Um, so that's that one. In here, I've also got some retainer bright. Now, this isn't a retainer, of course. Cleaning it, I was absolutely shocked because I'm used to using all sorts of things to cleaning them, but actually, apparently, what you use is cold water and soap. And I said, soap? Wouldn't, how is that cleaning any bacteria or anything like that at all? And then, of course, I find that in here, you get retainer bright and use this every now and again. Literally drop it in water or whatever you've got to hold it in. Um, I've got a proper... Um, I suppose you could call it like a like a bath, like a small dental bath. Um, and I think you just take one or two of these tablets in here and it cleanses that for you, removes all the bacteria, brightens it, cleans it, looks after it for you. So I used to use these years ago when I had my first retainers, um, about 10, maybe 11 years ago now. And all throughout that, I did stop using it because this stuff has got pretty expensive. Um, whereas before it used to be really quite cheap, but it has gone up in recent years. Um, so it's great to have that again now as well. So that's really, really good. In here... Um, oh, I was showing you, I've just got my case in here, so your proper Invisalign case, which I really like the look of, and in here, chewies. So this is when you take your, because I don't wear these for eating, um, and drinking drinks such as coffee, or if you were to drink red wine or anything like that at all, you would take them out because of the staining, but when you put them back in, so they fit really comfortable, you use these, and you, oh, I've got a job to do it, because I actually were really sore at the top, but you bite You can check I'm doing that. I can't do it on the front one, so it's so sore at the moment. But you bite down on those, and it just fits more snug and more so socket to your teeth. Because um, these, of course, are created for each sort of pocket around every single tooth. I don't know if you can see, but before I have these done, you probably can hear, I've got like notches of sort of quite like ceramic material fixed to my teeth. And that helps the um, division line fit. And I understand when I ask the question that um, those sort of nodules uh, are put onto the tooth to help it be able to move in a certain direction or to help the vision line achieve what it's designed to do. So that's that. So that's really, really quite cool, I think. So I've got my little container in there of that one. In here, um, I haven't actually looked at what's in this one. So I've got another little drawstring sort of bag here. Oh, another container. Just another storage thing. So. You do in the whole kit of this, you get quite a lot of stuff as well, which of course would be really good for traveling. One thing and another as well. You can probably tell as I'm talking, I'm really, really struggling because it's like my lips aren't moving over them comfortably. I think it's incredibly dry. I've never had this at all before. So forgive me for keep having to do that. We've got that bag there. Let's get that out of the way. At a moment. Um, then we've got another bag with whatever this is in here. I did say, but so much has happened in the last couple of days. Oh, I can't even really get this out. That uncomfortable yesterday afternoon coming from the appointment. I really, I just couldn't. I really could barely talk. <laughs> and then working as well has been really quite difficult on top of that because of having to uh, have lots of conversations and things. So black box here. So this is made to move. Okay. Oh, so this is just the box which the container come in. So there's me thinking there's something cool in there. There's not. Cleaning crystals, apparently. And this, uh, the lady who fitted them for me said that apparently cleaning crystals is for something, uh, is apparently really, really good to get off the Invisalign if you've eaten something stained, such as spice from curry or red wine or anything like that at all. Um, they're not my particularly fresh choices of foods because I get really bad reflux. And I've been having that really bad lately as well. So um, I, years ago, I had problems with a stomach ulcer. Um, and that, the, the ulcer, of course, got better and improved um, and went. But the medication I used to take for my hearing condition 
um, many years disease left me with a real bad acid problem, which I t have taken on into my adult years, to be quite honest with you. So foods and things like that I really much do stay away from. Um, rest of the things in here, they gave you like sort of free samples of sensitive, yeah, honestly, talk about scent, I've just noticed this, sensitive toothpaste. I'm going to need it because this is really sore up here, really, really sore. Um, and then just lots of handy sort of information and things. So what's this one? So aftercare, so it's telling me here that you should wear your retainers as instructed usually 20 to 24 hours a day. So usually I take them out for about 15 minutes to have coffee in the morning and perhaps like a slice of toast. Um, lunch I take them out and then of course in the evening as well. Um, no, I don't know, uh, 20 to 24 hours a day. I Last yesterday I had them on sort of mid-morning. Um, today I pretty much took them off for about 10 minutes this morning. I'd say about 15 minutes at lunch and then about 20 minutes in the evening and I'm not really able to eat particularly very well either because of how sore, particularly these whole teeth are, really really painful. Um, it's given me some instructions of how to use the Invisalign's as well. Um, and this is a little helpful thing here because you may be thinking, well how do you get your, how do you do your checkups and things? How, how does that work? Well, it's actually done by an app, um, so I don't have to, before when I had my braces uh, about 10 years ago, I used to have to go really, really often. Now they have an app, uh, which I've downloaded on my phone. Here, so I've got the Samsung Galaxy Z, um, and what you do is called Dental Monitoring. So go on to Dental Monitoring, and it brings me up onto this sort of home page here. And then you can add your picture. It tells you what a liner number you're on. So I'm on number one. Um, and then actually you scan your own teeth. Now that sounds pretty crazy, doesn't it? And I was really impressed with this, but they send you away with the scan box. Okay, and this is actually a scanner in here with the app. So I take the scanner out. And inside your dream smile is just a snap away. Um, you get like this little sort of like bag for it to go in. And then that's part of the mechanism of the scan. And then just underneath, you get two of these in here. And then this is the device that you use to scan your own teeth from. Um, as you can see, the mouse goes around here. This piece goes on to... I've got to remember how to do this now. So, phone. So, phone. The phone would come on here. Phone would come on here, so you've got the, the camera sort of element in the back there. And then this piece. Clicks on the front. So you've got like this device here with your phone. And then what you do is you, you hold this in the mirror and your mouth goes over these pieces here. So you, sorry, I'm getting really sore. Open that up, you position this in your mouth, and then in the mirror, on the screen, you actually can see your own teeth. You open up the app, the app's really easy to use, step by step, it shows you how to, cl um, to click it um, each step through to how to scan, and then literally you lean to one side, you lean to the other, bearing in mind your mouth is kind of, is, is forced open with this here. And then it tells you if you've done a good enough job, it tells you if you could do it again, you get an option to review it, then you send it through. I've done that yesterday afternoon, um, because they didn't want me to do it in the in the specialist centre. Um, they wanted me to come home and do it, which I did. They were really fantastic. The coordinator sat down, went through everything with me and showed me how to do it. And then literally, 10 o'clock last night, I got a review from the specialist who's doing my treatment, and he said about how apparently um, he could tell that my cleaning schedule was immaculate, my teeth were very well looked after, that at the moment I wouldn't be changing uh, aligners yet until the 23rd of January, I believe, and that I'm to, to keep up the good job I'm doing, which I thought, wow, how modern is that? So it's literally cut out. Goodness knows how many appointments from what I was actually expecting me to have to do. Um, so yeah, absolutely great. I have got to go for an appointment in March, um, and that is just because of because they are moving my teeth outwards. They need to change some of the shape of my teeth, and I'm opting just to have a few in the front here, just altered in in shape ever so slightly, just as a cosmetic sort of um, thing. Because the one thing I don't like is a sort of shape. I much prefer much like a blocky sort of smile look, and very much more of a fuller smile. Um, so I'm not sure if that's going to add anything more to the cost, but. I really love the treatment, love the dedication and the care which they have. The system um, 
I use. I'm hoping I'm going to get some really great results from it. It is uncomfortable at the moment. It is painful, especially the top at the own. I was going to try to take them out and show you, um, but honestly, I tried to do that for dinner about an hour ago, and it was an absolute nightmare. So I've just left them in for now because I don't need to touch that until, of course, I cleanse my teeth and everything um, this evening. But um, so it, it's, of course, good dental habits as well. So straight away, um, when you're taking them out after you've eaten, I brush my teeth afterwards when I've eaten. I put them back in straight away. Um, if I'm having anything like fizzy or coffee or anything like that at all, I take them out. I have the sip of something which I'm having because I'm not really drinking too much at the moment for other reasons, medical, and they're in the, in the background, which I know isn't good. Please don't shout at me for that. But couple of words, bladder issues. <laughs> don't want to be running back into the, uh, the bathroom when you're um, meant to be busy at work on a month end in a finance role. So yeah, um, but all good. So pleased, and console. Looks like a denture, I find that I could just flip it out. After that. My teeth are quite white just because of the whitening and things which I've had anyway, but hopefully it's going to be straightening, it's going to be sorting out everything on this side. And yeah, Pleased. Really, really pleased. Okay, so I hope that gives you a little bit of an insight what 2023 is going to be starting off for me. Shortly, I will be taking a break from my channel. Um, my mum, my amazing mum, is going to be having um, some surgery pretty soon. So I'm going to be taking some time out to help her recovery and look after her and make sure she is okay alongside my dad. I've had several uh, operations. My mum and my dad have been there throughout all of them. So I am repaying the offer and um, just because I want to be there as well. So that's going to be coming up soon. We're also going to be looking at some uh, hair related uh, products review. I've been taking hair gain for nearly two months now and that's just thicken up my hair. And if any of my subscribers are watching or still looking at this, I know I've been here quite a while. The hair sort of loss and issue I had here is really improving and is really, really sorting itself out. We're not there yet. It's still quite thin, but I'm certainly seeing results. And that, I believe, is a credit to the Neoxin daytime system, nighttime system, shampoo, conditioner and hair gain for the two months which I've been taking it. OK, so on that note, thank you very much indeed for watching. And if you're um, in the middle of going for your Invisalign uh, treatment or if you're in the middle of your process, please let me know how are you getting on. I really do hope you're getting on well. Thank you very much for being here. And to everyone and to all my subscribers, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, take great take teeth back in. Take great care. All the very best. And I'll be seeing you soon. Bye now.